There were some people last night that gave subtle uh, credit to Triple H's subtle changes last night at Monday Night Raw. But, you know, if they were subtle changes, we didn't really notice them that much uh, based on what we saw. Um, but there's a lot of stuff coming on, coming out. There's there's a bunch of news. The, uh, the federal investigation about Vince McMahon and, and how he used his money or the company's money. So there is a uh, Federal Bureau of Investigations investigation, I guess. I You know, this loose on this report, but apparently, the, you know, Vince McMahon is under a federal uh, investigation of some sort. So that's pretty crazy. Um, we've also, you know, heard, you know, bash jobs on WWE Vince McMahon that he forgot a lot of things, didn't remember a lot of things, you know, that he would censor so many uh, stories and filter out so many ideas and, and things like that. Hey, whatever, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Probably, I'm sure, I, I'm sure that is the case, you know. I can definitely understand that. Uh, but there could be a lot of stuff coming out uh, about Vince McMahon, and this, this federal investigation news is legit, it seems, and huge if that's the case. So that's going to be a pain in the ass. The sources close to Vince say that Vince is like, F them. You know, he's got an F them attitude. Bring it on. F you. There's nothing you can do. I'm God. Piss off. You know, that's what Vince feels like, which I get that. So he probably will continue to have that opinion. I believe that probably is his opinion. Um, Booker T uh, talked about John Gresham uh, leaving uh, Ring of Honor in AEW. And listen, it's been said, it looks like the rumor is that Tony Khan knew or heard that John Gresham was a trouble guy, a bad guy, somebody who was going to make a big deal about, you know, getting what he deserves. So, I mean, this is... Who knows who's the bad guy? I mean, you know, AEW refused to feature the world champion, John Gresham. They they let, like, let him have a match, but they didn't use him at all on Dynamite. They didn't want to deal with him, it seemed like, until it came down to having that last match. I mean, that's pretty messed up. But it's also messed up that they would even then give him the shot. So I, I don't even, I don't know who's the bad guy, what's wrong here, but something is up. With Tony Khan and John Gresham, and we don't know what that is yet. Some people have said that Tony Khan, you know, I've heard people say racism and stuff like that. I don't understand how that applies to this, um, but I don't know. Uh, we, you know, Tony Khan isn't responding to anything that I've asked or said, so Tony Khan seemingly doesn't care to talk about it or whatever. John Gresham hasn't responded to anything that I've said uh, or that anybody's asked him from what I know. And John Gresham is uh, not on Twitter anymore, so there's that, man. Either way, it looks like he wasn't a fit for AEW, whether it was their fault, his fault, or both faults. And Claudio's the Ring of Honor world champion anyway now, so that doesn't matter. Um, I put up a uh, post on uh, Patreon, Final Frontier News Extra, about, av about how we travel through space in the future. Go check that out if you like to. It's up there. It's about 10 minutes or so. And... Uh, that's really about it, man. Just recapping those little points here from the week that I thought were kind of, you know, more important. I mean, last night, Logan Paul had a garbage segment on Monday Night Raw. It was so bad. Um, it was just really, really bad uh, last night. And I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. It was not good. I don't even care to talk about Raw last night. It wasn't good. I, I did not have fun at all. It was terrible. I, I, I don't I have nothing to say about it. Right now I don't even have anything to say about it. What I can't wait for is Thursday night on Out of Nowhere to do the SummerSlam predictions and do those because that's at least something to, to talk about for about a half an hour to an hour. But I don't want to give any more minutes to Monday Night Raw last night because I just did not have a good time really other than the first. The opening with Roman Reigns and the first hour or so was somewhat all right. And uh, then it kind of just spiraled into no man's land. That's my opinion. What do you guys think about all this? Um, will Vince McMahon be in further trouble? Will he get penalized financially uh, by people, by people in the WWE, by the company? Will he be forced off the board? Is that the next thing that he's forced off the board? Is there jail time? Is there some other criminal offense or something coming that we don't know about? Leave in the comments down below. And if you leave a super thanks, I will pin your super thanks to the top of my, uh, my comment section down there if you'd like to. And, of course, leave a like, leave a sub. You know, I mean, don't leave a sub, sub and stay, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, sub and stay, baby. I lo you know, it's okay, Vince. I'll always love you. You gave us the best years ever of wrestling ever. I'll always love you. It's okay. 
And somewhere in an alternate universe, Stephanie McMahon agreed to go with the daddy-daughter incest uh, thing that you came up with, I'm sure. Right? A little bit weird, right? Uh, but the, be that as it may, Vin, well, that's what makes Vince McMahon great, is that he's so wild. You know what I mean? He'll do anything. Right, right, Beavis? Don't you agree? I want Vince McMahon to do my cornholio. Put Vince McMahon's bunghole on my corn dog. Uh. I want to get, ah, my bunghole will get monkey pox from Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Ah, la, 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 bunghole. I want Vince McMahon to stick his bunghole in my corn dog. My poo-poo is made for Vince. What? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on around here? <laughs> There's 9,000 people that are going to stand up and say, Fuck! Rick Flair is... Keep watching this channel by watching these videos now.